Hey, is everyone ready to trust Dr. Queez? Or should I say let yourself be manipulated into trusting him because of nothing? Well, I sure hope so because it's time for another round of the show that sends for God. Queez. Whoa, that sure was a barrage of random noises for nothing happening. But, you know, they're really going for a dreamlike quality to this episode, so I can't complain. You just gotta get it, man. I mean, seriously, Queez walking up to Dragonlord without a bike bell noise would just be pedestrian. <gasps> what? What is this? Did Donatello and Queese just fall in love? Go free! Oh boy, sped up footage. It's like they were worried this wasn't dumb enough. Thank you, Dr. Queez. Why are the turtles leaving? I mean, sure, it makes no sense for them to actually think Queez is an ally just because he clearly only accidentally released them, but for whatever reason, Donatello thinks this was purposeful. So there really is no reason to not try and take Dragonlord out right now while he's trapped. I mean, hell, they should take Queez out as well anyway while no one else is here. Stopping your enemies from killing and eating people is not the new way, guys. If I don't get a turtle by Sunday, I'll burn the stupid laboratory. Turtles by Sunday. Anyway, just in case you thought they might try to give any sort of ambiguity to Queese's actions, they absolutely do not. Danny is busted. Do they really always have to be so juvenile? And why would Donatello be the only one in trouble when Mikey and Raph went with him to Queese's? There is nothing for you to learn there. While how the turtles go about their infiltration of enemy ground leaves a lot to be desired, saying there's nothing to be learned by gathering information from them is extremely short-sighted, stupid Splinter. I hate Splinter. Queez is a genius? You know, you keep saying that, Donatello, but we have yet to see a hate Splinter. He just needed someone to take it out on. You are still new, and you are Shinobi. They'll judge you twice as hard. What? He was more angry at you, Splinter. You're the twin who thinks you mutants having information on mutation isn't necessary for survival when it very well could be. This scene just kind of makes it seem like Splinter is making Venus feel bad for no real reason, and this isn't a plot thread they pick up on again, so it's superfluous. Anyway, Donatello goes on his little suicide book return mission that Splinthole sent him on, and he enters, of course, nonsensically through the machine in the middle of the lab again. You'd think Queese would just put a lock on that thing or something. Cyber Molecular Genetic Redistributor? The Tri Oscillator 62000? So Donnie just starts busting a nut over Queese's tech because it's important to be an idiot at all times, you see. Don't know what I liked more, being slapped in the face repeatedly by a load of dumb noises again, or Mr. Genius at work not knowing where he set up his stupid little force field. You'd think this trap would be set up in front of something people might actually stop in front of instead of a random spot on the floor, but that would require a little bit of common sense, and that is no on this show. I, you and I, we share the same instincts. Why? We can work together. Why? I'd appreciate it if you'd tell me how much this hurts. Why? I have always spy on him. No, dude. Spying is against the law. Yeah, everything else you do is above board though, right, Leo, you moron? Raph's right. You're wrong. No, no you're, you're wrong. wrong. You know, I actually kind of like this. Not the execution, of course, but I do like Mikey and Raph kind of teaming up because they disagree with Leo. Could have led to some kind of interesting character stuff, but this is the next mutation so all it leads to is a dead end. Then it's up to me and Mikey. Here's the start of the big Raph and Mikey team up. Just Raph going alone on his bike. Because they don't have stock footage of only Mikey going out in the turtle Humvee, so I guess he's helping by staying out of it. 
Which, hey, in his case, maybe is actually helping more. I love being a turtle! Who the hell was that? Why is there some ass in the middle of the road yelling about being a turtle? Oh, wow, Queese invented the virtual flux capacitor. So I guess he can time travel on the computer? It's like a prototype of the Wayback Machine, I guess. Queef keeps trying to get Donatello to step onto the forest field spot because Queef is an idiot and didn't design this holding field in a way where he could aim it at other locations. So Donatello goes back to the lair, which means the great Raph Mike alliance led to Raph yelling on his bike for no reason and Mikey sitting around strumming on a blow up guitar. What a ride, I tell ya. Queef doesn't know what a high five is, even though earlier during the montage of them working together, we saw them high-fiving. So, can we send the dragon back into the enchanted mirror? Alright, this is the one bit here that makes some sense, and I wish it was focused on a lot more than mostly just being a throwaway thing. Donatello should have decided to work with Queese because Dragon Lord is becoming a threat to both of them, and it seemed like the best way to get rid of him, even though it would be risky working with Queese. Yeah, you can do this story without making the supposed smart turtle into a moron! I do need to point out though that Dragon Lord wasn't trapped in a mirror, he was in a dream world, he just appeared in a mirror that Master Chung was meditating in front of once. I'd be upset at this continuity gap, but I'd be more surprised if the next mutation remembered anything correctly at this point. It would have been nice too if we as the audience ever believed for a second Queese and Donatello's team up was genuine. This episode should have started with a blow up between Dragon Lord and Queese that the Turtles witness leading to the team up and then it could possibly be revealed as a trick towards the end. Though I think it is a better story to have Queese and Dragon Lord actually be at odds, especially as them working together isn't all that interesting. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein home! What are you doing here? Uh, you're hanging out with a loony! We could've just cut out the days of this going on had we just crashed in here right after we followed you the first time. Mikey and Raph just drag Don off and Queese again slowly tries to use his inconvenient force field and I guess this time Donatello finally notices it so he realized Queef blows. And uh, yep, that's seriously the betrayal point. That's the entire payoff. So that accomplishes nothing. The biggest idiot of the episode was, of course, Donatello. He trusted Queese for absolutely no reason and probably should have died in this episode. The only reason he didn't was Queese's stupidity. The runner up for biggest idiot though was Splinter as he was also seemingly trying to get Donatello killed. And honorable mention goes to all the male turtles for being dumb enough to think those bars on the wall while we're trapping them at all. Well, except Leonardo, who wasn't there, but he is still an idiot in his limited screen time this episode, so honorable mention to him too. So, this was the last episode to feature the half-corpse scientist, Dr. Queef. I guess we'll never know why he's purple for sure. Probably just having the internet in his head was killing him though. Have fun continuing your journey to rot off screen, Queef. Next time on Next Mutation, the turtles play laser tag, Dragon Lord traps Wick in a mirror, and Venus makes a friend. <laughs> Breath, lethal, foul, stinky!